So what exercises actually increase load on the spine? Seated exercises, or even from supine. My favorite example is the saw, our classic saw, which is that seated legs outside forward bend with rotation, right? Forward bend and rotation are the most likely movements to cause a disc dysfunction or disc injury. We have not very much ligamentous support behind those discs. And so when we go into forward bend, the discs travel backwards a little bit, or that back area opens up, the rotation helps that disc kind of slide away. So if they're prone for that injury, that is the best way to have them injure themselves. Any sort of forward bending can get you in same load. Rolling up and down the spine really increases load as we roll with load. That includes balance point, teaser, rolling like a ball, anything with the butt overhead. So roll over a short spine stretch, long spine stretch, all of those are going to be very heavily loading. Forward bend with rotation and standing also causes quite a bit of load. And any sort of forward bend, which we really don't have a lot of, except for coming into classic plank from standing position, that forward bending moment. And then I threw deadlifts in there because I get this question all the time. Technically, deadlifts, if they're done right, are in neutral spine the whole way, which makes them less loaded. But I have yet to see someone who can really pick up a weight all the way from the floor without any forward flexion. So maybe I'm not looking at the right people. Maybe that is possible. But from what I see, uh, that motion is super difficult to get in a completely neutral spine. And that's heavy load with forward flexion. So that's going to put a lot of load on the spine.